All right. Um, I didn't get a chance to watch the news, so whatever was interesting out of it. Uh, <coughs> oh, yeah, uh, I saw some pretty good, cool shit. Uh, I don't know what time it is. Uh, eight something. Uh, DPS, uh, marshals were making a, uh, a search on a house. They had to go back with some, uh, some shipping container thefts. Would you like me to pull up the actual thing and then you go into detail? I thought. No, uh, really, really, I said. I don't know what a DPS marshal is. Uh, they are actually, uh, DPS special agents. Uh, um, anyway, they went, they found this house where this stolen property was supposed to be. Well, with further investigation, they find, uh, out in the backyard, all these solar panels up on top of these fences. Was that covering that up? Well, the, the wood deck in the backyard was actually covered up, and they found a a, a a trap door. Oh, so the floor panels was to power the lights and stuff to oh, to, that makes more to sense. grow the marijuana. That makes more sense. Now. They found sense. over a hundred plants down in this fourteen by fourteen uh, cubicle underneath this patio. A hundred is all. Huh? Hundred is all. Well, they just said uh, over. I know uh, uh, why uh, I saw on Facebook. Uh, Wichita County, uh, on 287 and FM 4287 or something like okay. that. Okay. I guess it's either north or south. It's north. Um, uh, $800,000 worth of stuff in a car, in marijuana. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is, is a, this is a pretty big drug corridor. Yeah, that's why they set, they've they been setting up these, these drug, drug transports, uh, checkpoints. Yeah, but really. Google map, you can bypass quickly. Well, but there's one between Decatur and, uh... Bowie PD is really stupid. They're setting them up on the southbound side. They need to be really doing it on the northbound side. Uh, because all, all your drugs are coming from the north, uh, from the, from the south. Heading north. Well, you figure if uh, uh, the money's got to go back down to Mexico somehow. Okay, they stop it with the money. It sets an everything bank on now. People go to jail, prison time. That money just has to go back into uh, the system. Well, here in Montana County, yeah, it goes into the system. It's called the Good Old Boys System. How can we get more money? Uh, Let's stop the drug money coming back. We couldn't piss anybody off that way. Really? Yeah. Hell, how unfortunate. Your house burnt down last week. <laughs> they did get, uh, uh, Monte County got, uh, and Bowie has gotten two brand new Ford Explorers. Yeah. Damn sure didn't change nothing else in the county though. But I think we're I think uh I think we're fixed to go up come up for election. Uh the sheriff's up for election here's uh for sure. I've seen posters for it. I don't mm-hmm. know about Bowie. No, Bowie won't. Bowie, Bowie's a, a good old boy program. Uh they pretty much got who they want in there right now. And uh old Chris no, they have to do an election at some point. Uh, they won't. They won't. They won't do nothing with him. He's he's been with the department for a whole lot of years, and uh, they like him. He don't do nothing. He's just kind of like that first that first uh, first sheriff we had. Uh, we moved. You know who I know who I've never haven't seen at work in a while. Molina. Uh, Yeah, I haven't seen her either. Now I saw I saw uh, my favorite female D- DPS trooper yesterday waved at me as I was going out of town. 
like that. Um, so I knew I knew that I was good to go because if if, if I wasn't yeah, right. okay. you yeah. know if I wasn't right, she'd have spun around spun around on me. Uh, um, you don't think they let her go already if she found someplace else? She might have went. She, well, I, I, I no. Yesterday I did see her when uh we was down there at a uh, at a uh, all that crooked ass store where that hole works down there, and that's where I'm gonna put it. Cause I am not gonna infringe our deal, but uh. I don't know what you're talking about. Place down there on the corner of the shopping center. Oh, fucking Dollar General? Yeah. Where the hole works. Uh, she come tooling, tooling into the parking lot, and the, the bug was clean. And uh, she come tooling in there. So I don't, I don't know. Think she found a dick now? I, I don't, I don't think so. I just think that she might. I think she just might be making a change. I'll con I'll contact her sister tomorrow and ask her about it. That's kind of creepy. Spread it through the room, little booty, and let's see what comes back. I I have sister. She'll she'll tell me. She uh. In fact, I hadn't heard nothing from her. I've sent her, I've sent her a few things, but I hadn't heard nothing from her. Well, that's the same thing that I do with me sometimes. I give it a quick look. Nope. Mm. But anyway, uh, did they kill like 18 people down there today? Killed a guy. He was creeping around a motel. And Forney, Forney PD uh, decided to make chase. He come into he come into uh, into the county, and they chased him to a certain point. He kicks out of the car and starts firing shots at the at the deputies or the police officers, and they shot and killed his ass. There was a mixture. I didn't recognize the vehicles, but you can always tell. It was, it was Forney, 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 and uh, uh, another agency. But they ended up shooting and killing his ass. Is that the one they spiked? Yeah, and that's that one that they're showing that they spiked. Look how far he made it after she spiked him. Not very damn far. He's out on a dirt road for the car stop. He he uh he actually what this I think they said he went actually three miles after the tires blew out. Where the grass fires came from? Nothing. I, I don't. I don't reckon it. It was back in there. But he, he when he stopped, he got out, started firing. He shot up the uh, the Forney police cruiser, the Tahoe, and was shooting at them. So we get a pretty good deal on it now. And uh, they shot and killed him. Got minor bullet holes. Oh, that's fine. We'll keep that. And then you got these idiots that's trying to rob people down there. You got that spray steel spilling in there and hang over it. You don't even know there's a bullet hole there. They got, you got these, these idiots that uh, a young kid tried to rob a homeowner and the homeowner shot guilty uh, straight up, you know. I'm sorry. But if you fuck up trying to do that now that now that we have the right to bear arms. We've had the right. Okay. We have what's called the castle doctrine. And what it means is, if you break into my house and attempt to steal things out of my house, as long as I shoot you in your front, and not trying to, when you're trying to flee, yeah. I'm an all title right. Now, uh, uh, if you're in my fucking house and I shoot you, I'm going to Don't shoot them in the back. Because then they're trying to run away, and that's not, it's part of the law. Uh, what I'm going to go into is, and you know my my dislike of anybody between the age of about 10 to 18. At that point, you're not working. You're not doing.
do anything to produce any substance, and your generation ain't gonna amount to shit. I already know. Uh, I'm sorry. If you are at that point in your life where you're breaking into people's houses already, I, you, I, get, you get your ass shot. But, uh, you, what was that they said on Billy the Kid? You die like pussy? No. Oh. When they shot that boy up there, do you remember that one? It was, it was, uh, take your medicine, boy. Yeah, take now, if you're 18 uh, and beyond, and you do something stupid like that, no, he was just 18. He was a kid. Uh, uh, I, I think we try people as adults at 18. If, if you're fucking up and you get caught and you get your ass shot, uh, you better watch God give you. And that's like if you kill a pretty girl. I hope you get the worst. <clears throat> There's not a lot of pretty girls left in this world. Okay, some of us have to get. <laughs> Easy does it there. Um, there ain't no delay on this show. Uh, yeah, we, don't, we don't have a bleep factor. Uh, actually, I don't know what the delay is, but it uh, apparently makes a lot of things much better and where we don't get fined. We don't get fined, we just broke anyway. The, de the deal is... Uh, there was more murders today than apartment fires. Yeah, exactly. And for DFW. <laughs> this only has about 10 minutes left. Here. Let me know when it gets 8.59. Or, yeah, 8.59. Because I want to see the news and we'll do it. <laughs> When you're fucking done, seriously. God damn it. Uh, we'll do the news and then we'll finish up. Um, 15, 20 minutes. Anything updated. We didn't get to go on the couch. Or that dog that got hurt by uh, pit bulls. I thought Tim Allen died. No. God damn, something's aggravating my senses. Uh, let's see, did, uh, oh, the Eagles guy died. Uh, 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 we uh, did that last night. No, he died today. Uh. -huh. We didn't do the Eagles guy last night. Glenn Fry died yesterday. <laughs> no, we didn't do that guy today. You told me about it this afternoon when I got back. That was yesterday. No. Yes. I came in, you told me, and it may seem like yesterday, but because every afternoon I don't care. See, that's your problem. I don't give a fuck. This is my goddamn show. We're talking about it again. Oh, oh, no. Oh, uh, no. Uh, uh, that. That's the beginning of this offset I was going to go into. All right, so and I need you to very much keep me, let me know when it's 8, 50, 8, 8 59. Um, This uh, R&B artist, uh, Montana Johnson, or whatever, some guy, John, an R&B artist, I don't know, the Latin. He, he took the beat of Hotel California, you know, when it starts up, uh, how it goes, and changed the words, totally. And uh, Don Henley, like one of the members of uh, uh, the Eagles, and the guy who wrote the fucking song, if, I, if what I hear is correct, right? Mm -hmm. uh, was went up to politely to him. I don't know when this happened, but it's either got to be recent because it was on latest. You know what I mean? And I asked him, "Hey, uh, you know, at least I asked permission for you to use my shit." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah, we can only use eight minutes, eight seconds of a, a song that has words in it. I learned that today. I got okay. it. Uh, oh. uh, and, and, and the R&B guy was all cocky and basically said, go fuck yourself oh. without saying that. And uh, I think Don Henley and all of them was planning on suing the R&B artist. Well, hey, that's fine. Which I heard the song. I heard a little bit of the song. You know what? 
It sucks. I'd sue them for that too. That was the worst. Is that what they were playing in there earlier? That R and B sounded version of Hotel California. Yeah. Well, they never. Re- no. The first time you heard it, they played it through. It was like forty-eight seconds before they ever got to actual real words of Hotel California. And then all the rest of you heard after that, when you could hear the beat and you kind of heard words in the background, but you couldn't really tell, and it wasn't Russ and them sing- talking. It was that R and B artist singing. Mm. And I'll tell you, I heard the words. No. But I don't like classic rock at all. And you're to thank for that, because you always well, played it. Eagle, Eagles, Eagles had some good music. But if you don't, don't fuck up the music. Don't, don't fuck yeah, up. well, if you're going to fuck the music up, then leave it alone. That's, that's why I don't like, I really don't care about karaoke bars, because you... You'll get somebody in there that will fuck the song. I with. know, but you can't blame oh it. Like, you God can't, damn. They, they, they ain't trying to sell shit. They just trying to, uh, where, how much did you pay on that shit in the bag? Huh? How much you pay on that? Nothing. They ain't trying to sell and make money off it, put it out to the public. They just doing it for uh, general uh, drunken amusement. Yeah, but still, you know. Uh, now, are they smart for singing at all? No. No, if you go, I, I really don't care for, for the karaoke bar uh, because you always get some some big Tommy. dumb, fat, stupid motherfuckers up there. 854. That, uh, that, that couldn't hit a lick with a fucking baseball bat and uh, straight up trying to sing and shit like that and they ain't doing nothing but fucking the song up. That's crazy. Are, are you shutting it down at 8.59? Yeah, so I can catch the news. All right. Yeah, that's Damn it. It's fucking cold out there. Chris got you a jacket. Oh. Uh, we still on? Yeah, I just don't know what time it is. It's, uh... Eight fifty-five. 8.55. 8.55 and it's 33 degrees outside. No snow or rain in the forecast. It's it's already gone past. Uh, 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 We'll be back after this break with some. uh, Ain't no telling what you have to do. Yeah, I still got a lot of beer. All right, go fuck yourself. 